Uh, good afternoon. This is a meeting of the Griggs County Commission, October 5th, 2023. Would everybody rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Roll call. Uh, Avril. Here. Tranby. Here. Soren will be attending by phone in just a little bit. Okay. Uh, Edland. Here. And Wakefield's present. Have a look at the agenda. Uh, can we please add um, the sheriff office contracts? I do have an update from Bob. If we can add those. Has the state's attorney had time to look at them? I don't know. Because that's, that's, I mean, before we can have any interaction with them, the state's attorney has to look at them. So you can put them on there and we'll just have to refer them to the state's attorney. We can't do anything with the contract at, at this late date without well, any I don't input. have the contracts. I have a report about the contracts. Okay. Well, like well, it's something to talk about. Okay. Um, I have one thing to add um, on the Hope Pond cabin. Some good news on it, so I'll add it to the agenda. So, yeah, I'll yeah, you know, I'll tell you when you get it going. It's something like so. So make a motion to approve the agenda with the additions. Additional. For opine. <laughs> okay. O P I M, I think. O P H is it O P I or O P H? O P H O P H E I M. I E M. I E M. O P I M. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Tell you don't ever ask me to spell because I will not get that. <laughs> we have a uh, motion by Edlin to approve the agenda with the addition of the Opine, Opine Cabin Report <laughs> from Tranby and a, See, report, <laughs> a, report, a report on the police contract and how, how that's proceeding. Uh, do I have a second to that? I'll second that. Second by Tranby. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Agenda approved. Uh, have a look at the September 21st meeting minutes. When you're ready, we'll need a motion to approve, to amend, and unless somebody wants to read them, to no. waive the reading. Make a motion to approve the minutes and dispense with the reading. We have a motion by Edlin to approve the 20, September 21st meeting minutes and dispense with the reading. Do I have a second to that? I'll we'll second it. Second by Abriel. All in favor signify by, by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Minutes approved. The bills, Samantha. Um, we do have one that I would like to add, if we may. Um, it's for the Spectrum Photography, the gentleman that did our sales ratio study. It'll be that second payment. Um, I had gotten it a few weeks ago, forgot to get it to Chelsea. This is my fault. We can uh, wait for it till next meeting, but he did get it to me 
you know, a few weeks ago, my fault, not his, if we could get that added. Um, it'll come out of tax director budget. So How much is it? Yeah. Um, it'll be 12500 Just that second, second, yeah, second mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Okay. <clears throat> hey, Jamie. Hey, guys. Hello, Jamie. Howdy. So, Brian to fix the gutter. I thought that was pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Yep, he got pretty creative, so that was nice. So I have a question, Sal. Mm -hmm. Why do we have all these negative balances, and, and so many of them are $21,000 in some odd sense? It doesn't seem correct. Um, it looks like they're for the general courthouse, so I think something must have come out. I know that we had to make a correction before. Um, no, but I mean, this affected a whole bunch of them. So. No, okay, so that that is just because it's coming out of general courthouse. And so all of them that are coming out of general courthouse is the same negative. Do you see that? So to make this negative, there must have been something, because this is never negative. Something must have been going it, wrong. Yep, so it must have come out of the wrong account. So I'll go through, I'll do a chart of accounts, and I'll... Uh... Hi, Rod, you're on speaker. Okay, thank you. Um, I'll have to go through, I'll do a account history this week and figure out what came out of the wrong account and we'll get that corrected because yeah these that account is never probably a fat finger entry so, something or you know yeah. chelsea's new so we're getting through a year so might have had something come out of the wrong account that shouldn't have or whatever so i i'll get that fixed for you uh, rod zorn has joined the meeting but that's only the general courthouse one yeah i, I see road repairs wayne yeah, we're way over road supply. Road supply. Roads. The line item. We're way over. Road supplies way over too. Yeah. As far as the total budget, or not. So as we get closer, you want to make a note that we'll have to amend that the budget. I see. What's the road grader payment in there? At least hundred thousand. Yeah. <clears throat> I make a motion to accept the bills with the addition. with the addition of the spectrum photography bill. We have a motion by Edlin to accept the bills presented with the addition of a spectrum photography bill. For twelve thousand five hundred dollars, uh, this is for the final payment of the sales ratio study. Is there a second to that? Okay. Second by Tranby. We'll take a roll call vote. Uh, aye in the positive, nay in the negative. Avril. Aye. Tranby. Aye. Zorn. Aye. Edlin. Aye. Wakefield votes aye. Bills approved. Monthly office reports, if you'd have a look at them. We, if you want to approve them, we can, but they want more for our information. I don't know for what we'd, we would do if we didn't approve them. Because you're just sending them off by email. Anyway. Oh, okay. But if there's something you see you want to talk about, that's, I guess, the time to make a motion to <laughs> approve the office reports and we can talk about it. I'll make 
motion to approve the monthly office reports. We have a motion to approve the monthly office reports. Is there a second? Second. Second by Abriel. Motion by Tranby. Any discussion on the monthly office reports? Barring any discussion, all in favor of approving the monthly office report signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Office reports accepted and approved. Hmm. Well, let's sell the Ford Explorer. <laughs> Were there bids on that sound? Yep, we got a few. Okay. Open them and hand them to you. No, I'm going to open You're them and hand them to you. Okay. Well, someone got to record them. I'm not a recorder. Okay. Yeah, I guess I can. Ringwood Motors. Ooh. Ringwood Motors. Oh. In. <laughs> no idea. Where's that one at? Ringwood, Illinois. Hmm. Wow. Let's see. Let me see what it says. Accepting bit. This vehicle currently. They didn't send us a note. They just uh, sent us a bid for eight hundred eighty dollars. I assume that's picked up here. Are, are we sharing these? Well, that's long enough. Oh, oh. mm -hmm. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to look. We have a bid for twenty-six hundred and fifty-two dollars from Jan Tennyson. Oh. We're taking Jamie's pickup back yeah. and he's gonna drive this. Is that, is, that, is that relation to you, Jamie? You know a lot That's why Jamie doesn't get to record these. Yeah. <laughs> Mama needs a new hot rod, huh? Oh. <laughs> well, we have a bid from for thirty-four. Is that thirty-four? So. 34.09 from Annette Johnson, Binford. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. It'd be more fun if I got to be an auctioneer. <laughs> hmm. A bid for 2500 from Sandra Bowl, is that correct? From Manetta? Is that a four? I think so. Is that a four? Yeah. The winning bid, no? No way, the winning bid. Oh. We have a bid for forty one hundred from J. Burr, Michigan. It's a lot more bids than last time. <laughs> Better than selling bridges. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe it's the same as selling bridges. <laughs> we still got the bridge, though. So. Uh, Thirty-five hundred dollars, um, Rick Otto. I almost feel like we should ask if we got anybody in the phone lines. Twenty-five hundred from Devon Helm. Or call his grandmother, Irene Helm. Okay, twenty-five hundred. Okay. Seven. 
So unless anybody has any objections, I would have a motion that we accept the high bid from Jay Burr for $4,100. Michigan. I'll make the motion to accept that. We have a motion by Zorn to accept the bid of $4,100 from Jay Burr of Michigan. Do I have a second to that? I'll second that. Second by Tranby. The roll call vote. Avril. Aye. Tranby. Aye. Zorn. Aye. Edland. Aye. Wakefield votes aye. Ford Explorer, Explorer sold for $4,100. I don't know what happens after that, Jamie. Who's in charge of the title and all the rest of that? Um, I think my office has the title, pretty sure. And then I will, um, Bob said that they are going to finish up taking out all of the equipment and then it'll be hopefully ready to go, he said, by Saturday. And you'll, um, you'll have to sign the title. Yeah. And the title is in Griggs County's name. Um, I'll have to look, but I'm pretty sure he is. Um, I would ask for a cashier check or do whatever. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So hang on to that list in case there's any complications. Sound good. Second. Sound good. Um, it was motioned by Zorn and then seconded by Cranby. Cool, thank you. Okay, brought up. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a sample IT contract for, not to contract, the request for bids, um, page 16. I think that's just a formality. Jamie, did you make this up? Uh, I think it sounded You did. Up. Me and you did, yep. Did, yeah. <laughs> okay. So where do we run now? I think we should send it out to the Association of Colonies, paper, Facebook. They can post, I think the association will post that they post job on and ads for us. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when you, if it, else, I guess you want to run. In the paper? So we'll need a motion to, to accept the language of this and then publish it where necessary, I would imagine. Three weeks? Just like all the other ones. Anybody with a motion to that effect? Make that motion. Motion by Avril to publish the ad for IT bids on the IT contractor work. Um, a second to that. I'll second that one. Second by Tranby. All in favor signify by, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Thank you. Crown appraisals. Uh, Chelsea called me about three or four days ago mm. about that. And we sent, we got the contracts we have with you. Uh, yep, you guys have it in your Better package, and then, yep, I have a copy. Um, if you'd like to have it signed and returned, she said, because they're coming up on Monday up here to do something else for somebody else around here. She said, if I could be working their schedules to try to get them both these projects at the same time. Jamie, have you had a look at that? Yeah. Well, he's reading now. Let's go on to uh, okay. <clears throat> state fair delegate. Somebody wants to be a state fair delegate? Um, we need a state fair delegate. Um, you've always had Kelly Hansen. Yep. Um, we did reach out to him. He is willing to be your delegate again, if you so wish. 
Sounds good. Anybody got any other ideas? He's, as far as I know, he's done a good job for us. Need a, nom need a motion to nominate Kevin Hansen as our state fair delegate. So move. Motion by Edlin to nominate Kevin Hansen is our state fair Kelly. delegate. Kelly? Kelly? Kelly. Kelly, excuse me. Do I have a second to that? I'll second that. Second by Zor and all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Sorry. Congratulations to Kelly Hansen as a 2024 state fair delegate. The budget is on this agenda. Um, do you want to do those other two things and then I can run and go grab your budget? We will. Old courthouse, new courthouse. Do you want to do the sheriff's office contract? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then the old pine cabin. Well, yeah, I was going to do the old courthouse, new courthouse under old pine cabin. That's where probably, but go ahead. We'll do the old pine cabin. Oh, okay. Um, okay. The, back, the background of old pine cabin out here is that it's been in our in the county property in the corner here for the last uh, how many years in the, in the town. We've had some issues with it because a lot of it's falling down in disrepair. We've got bug problems, various things like that with it. So about a couple years ago, Marty Ulan decided to take measurements of it and he wants to rebuild it. Yep. Okay. So actually last January or February, he was down down by the Bible camp there, and I uh, helped load the logs. He cut a bunch of logs of oaks. Is it, it's oak, yeah. Yeah, it's oak, yeah, yeah. oak logs. And, he, and then the, the other part of the story is that we, he took it back to his place, and he was going to cut them by hand. Well, that's a lot of work. So a guy came from, it's going to come from somewhere with a portable sawmill and do it. So that's, that's the first part of the story. Are they square on the inside? Ugh, I don't know. Oh. I know they're I know they're flat on one side, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. The, the other, oh, the other, okay, the Mark Ernest called me the other day or I saw him on the street. The Old Pond family contacted him about a week, about a week ago. They have a person, they think they're out of Minneapolis, St. Paul, and these people are, mm -hmm. I think, a construction company down there or whatever I have. Okay. They have a guy that's going to do everything. They're going to do start to finish, they're going to take it apart and disassemble it and take the measurements. And they're going to pay for everything. So Marty's not going to do it anymore. Well, we haven't told Marty this yet, but we have right. to talk to him. But they, they're willing to do everything. Sure. On that. And then what Mark would like to do then, it would just relocate it to the fairground, or the fairground, to the museum area, which make it more appropriate. That's having it here, you know, in our, in our territory. So So you need you need uh, permission to relocate it because you don't want to start a project, of course, until you have that permission. Yeah, that's, that's, that's our plan on that one. But it sounds like in the next... Within the next year, they're going to start on this, yeah. you know. But it's a win-win. It like sounds to me. They're going to they're going to do everything. So, uh, do we have a motion to allow the? I, I would imagine we transfer ownership to the historical society. That's what I'm guessing too. Yeah, I can talk to the folks. Yeah. Yeah. Well, do we have a motion to transfer ownership of the Old Pine Cabin to the historical society for the purpose of relocation and renovation. So, Thank you. Motion by Edlin to allow the Historical Society to take possession and renovate the Old Pine Cabin. Is there a second? I'll second that. Second by Avril. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Oppose, same sign. Old Pine Cabin transferred. Sheriff's contract. Okay, so um, Bob called and said that he was unable to attend today, but he would like me to tell you that the city will approve the contract on their meeting on Monday. The contract will start January 1st with monthly payments up to the 30,000. The school will approve it on Tuesday with the payments being 45,000 per school year with the deductions per day since school has started. That's what I got. Thank you. Which does us absolutely zero good. Without a contract in front of us, we don't have we don't know no, the I terms. Don't we don't know the terms of anything, and yeah, we don't know the terms of anything. And we're we're locked into a dollar value on the school contract, and now there's going to be deductions. So that that is of no good for our purposes as far as trying to budget money and 
and approve this budget that's upcoming right now in another couple hours. So I do have a copy of the city contract. I don't have a copy of the school contract. I could send that to Sam. This, the city contract is probably is probably fine to go ahead because that money won't be spent until it actually comes in. That was going to be used for the vehicle, correct? The fifty thousand dollars that was approved as revenue on the sheriff's contract. But the one the one to the city that's not in this year's that's, right. that's not in the budget. budget. The one for the school, the school is, is in this right. budget. And, mm -hmm. and that was and the way that we offset the cost for the fifty thousand dollar deputy was this fifty thousand dollar revenue from the school. Yeah. Forty five. Forty five, yeah. yeah. Well now it's less than forty five. Yeah, right. But I mean that there's so many things that need to be ironed out in this that need to be ironed out in this. I can send that contract to at least the draft that I have from Bob. I can send it to Sam if you want to print it. Which one? The city one. City one. That's not of a concern, I don't think, because it's not going to interfere with this budget process. I mean, it's more worried about the school. I suppose it all has to do with the budget. Well, I mean, we as a board can't obligate the citizens of Griggs County to money without allowing them the chance to know what money we're obligating them to. And that's why we send out the pre-tax statements. And so now there's $50,000 that we are obligating the citizens to that they never received any notification that they, that was going to happen, or so. If the, if yeah. that's the case, if 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 that's the standard, then the citizens have lost all control of of what money is levied on their behalf. They don't have they don't they don't even have the right to know. Is the long and short of it. And of course, as a board, I, I don't think Jamie would recommend that we enter into any agreement without seeing the contract that we're entering into. I don't think it's even legal to. No, I mean, you need to, you're going to be signing it, and one of the first rules of the law is to know what you're signing. I mean, we don't, we don't know what we're obligating the citizens to. We haven't seen the contract. What is the obligation? What? Yeah. What? It isn't like this date snuck up on us. Bob's around, but I think he had to go on a call. He did. Is there a preliminary one from the school at all? We see, I mean, nothing, and we see nothing of that. The only way to correctly deal with this would be to remove the fifty thousand dollars from the sheriff's budget until the time where it could be the budget could be amended and it put back in. From where? What's that? So you would remove it from the budget and then it the gets expense, approved. The expense. The expense. It would be a revenue. It still would be. A, but it would. It, it's approved. It still would be a revenue. You're not. It. It can be changed. We after. After the preliminary budget was due, we can't go up. We can go down. We can't go up with levies. But if there's a revenue, we can take that revenue into account. And treat it as an in and out account. It probably couldn't go into the sheriff's budget. It would go into a it would go into a budget that would contribute to the sheriff's budget only when the money came in. But then where would you put the expense that we would have for that? Would you have to you'd have to add that expense to the budget? The budget would have to be amended. Amend the budget. And then and add that expense. And add the revenue. But it's gonna have an expense of that sheriff that we put in there, right? So so right now we would take that expense out. Boom. Uh huh. And now so now no revenue, no expense. When 
when we work out the contract for the revenue, then we add the revenue and, and the expense back in. You're gonna add the revenue and the expense back, back in, in right. when it's done. Treat it like an in and out account where we don't, where now we have the money, now we can spend the money. If we don't do that, once that, if that 45,000 stays in the sheriff's budget, it becomes, and the budget becomes verified, now the sheriff's budget, it gets to spend that 45, we can't take it back out of there. But now we don't have the revenue for it. So now what we did was we spent money we didn't have. Oh. And that, and that revenue can't be added to the taxes. That's right. Because it can't because offset. We, we, we've already gone to the preliminary budget and we can't increase it. Right. So what people have for their tax payment statements, that's, that's the most people will pay. Right. They can pay less, but they can't pay more. So they were in a situation that that can't be added to the budget. No. As far as, as being taxed. Well, you can it's keep a, that expense in the budget. No, you can't. Why not? Because one, once we approve a budget, that is the money of that department. Yep. Okay. So yep. then how so then if the money doesn't come in from the school or it's diminished, how do we, we've done the same thing? How do we offset the money that's going to be spent? Theoretically, if we left it in the budget and the school we had a, a problem with the contract of the school or they had a problem with the services we're going to provide, they would say we would say no, we don't want any part of that. The money would still be in the sheriff's department budget to be spent, and now it wouldn't have an income source. Are we really worried and concerned that we're going to have big issues with the school? That's my thought. Is like, are we that concerned that we're going to have issues with the school and this contract? Because if we're pretty confident that this is actually going to happen, that's not how this. That's I would not just how assume we leave. operate. We, would, we have to have it in. We have to have it in writing. We just, the citizens deserve to know what they're being obligated to. We're talking about the expense side. You want to take the expense out of the of the budget. You have to because there's no revenue to offset it. It's a it's it's a it's a balance sheet. If there's no revenue to offset the expense, the expense has to come out until we get the revenue. Mm -hmm. So if you're certain that the, if the school is going to come through with the forty five thousand and we're going to agree to it, at that point we would accept that contract and we would put the we would put the expense back in the sheriff's budget. If you don't take it out, we're running a deficit budget. Okay. Because basically what you're saying is we take it out and then, like you said, make, treat it like an annual account and it's still going to do the same thing, right? Okay. The, right, because he, he hasn't, it isn't like we're taking the salary away from somebody that's there. He hasn't hired that person yet. Correct. Yeah, we haven't hired that. And what, and what he said the last time he talked to us was, we haven't hired it yet. It doesn't matter. We're not going to spend it until we get, somebody in we get the money. So yeah. in order to make this thing work, we need to pull that out. As soon as the revenue comes in with a signed contract, that's what brings the revenue in a signed contract, not not the payment, but the signed contract. Then we put we amend the budget, the 2024 budget, and put the expense back in, and then everything works as it, as it should. If someone's hired for 2023, the same thing has to happen because yes, the, same thing. The contract already started. I mean, the contract should have started already when the school year started. Correct. So we would have been in the same position for 2023 as what we would be for. 2024 and we're probably going to be we're probably going to have to amend the 2023 budget right. to reflect the wages paid out in 2023 and the 24 budget to to reflect 2024 but we got to look at the contract first if if this is a if this is a pay by day deal that's not going to work because we're we don't expense it pay by day we expense the whole year here's the forty five thousand dollars so somehow we got to work it out because we don't have the ability then to say, well, we only got forty of it, forty thousand. Now we have five thousand dollars short. Sure. So there's there's some contract issues that need to be settled here. And again, it's not going to affect anything. He hasn't hired a deputy yet. So True. when the, when the money comes in, we can put the deputy back in. If the right. money doesn't come in, we won't. Since the contract is waiving pending don't take it out of the budget for now and then put it back in once it's approved and done at the same at the same meeting when we when we sure. approve and sign that contract we will go over and amend it, depending on the contract when they want it we'll probably go and amend the 2023 budget and yep. the 2024 okay just verifying no no i mean no i mean it, it's that's a valid i 
that's a that's a valid concern, but it it is dependent on the money, and then it can go back in. We've already. It wouldn't be any different than if if federal funding got held up on something, we would take it out of the budget and, and put it back in. Of course, the federal funding is just that way. It comes in and then we get to spend it. There is no in between. So, what is that budget? Is it is it forty five thousand in that budget? B, go to B19. You guys have the contract? Yeah. Do you have to make the motion to remove the revenue side too? Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to make the motion to, we'll, can, yeah, we'll make the motion to remove the revenue side and the corresponding, well, it's 55,000. So, was both said 55? How does that end up that way? Well, we can do that. So we will reduce. Is this deputy one or which deputy? Deputy two. Deputy two must yeah. be. Okay, so we will reduce deputy two's salary by 45. There'll still be 10,000 left in there. Five ten thousand of that has been already approved as already included in the levy. So do we have to I need a motion to take out for forty five thousand out of the deputy two within the sheriff's department and then take out the revenue on within the general fund. So the, the motion, the motion would be a motion to remove the forty-five thousand dollar revenue from the. Did it go into the general? Yeah. The general fund pending contract approval, and then correspondingly decrease the deputy two expense by forty-five thousand dollars. That makes sense, Jimmy. Okay. Yeah. So move. What you said. Okay. Yeah, because pending contract. Once the contract is That's signed, right. then we'll have to put it back this in again. This is just a technicality. Yeah, makes okay. sense. We have a motion by Edlin to remove forty-five thousand dollars of revenue from the school contract into the general fund pending contract approval and remove $45,000 of expense from the 2024 sheriff's budget leaving a balance of $10,000 in the deputy two line item. Is there a second to that? I'll second that. Second by Zorn. Discussion. I just want to make a point that I, I still strongly want this contract to go through so I don't want this to be to where we're it's like we're taking it out and now the contracts we won't review the contract and not do it. I still support that contract, but uh, well, I mean, I support right. looking at the contract. We have to see what's in the contract to support it. Right. And right. nothing, nothing in that has changed. Right. I just wanted to be clear that we're not taking this out saying we're vetoing it. Just that we're just waiting till the contract is done to be able to put it back in. Right. And it isn't like this was a snap decision. We've been wanting this contract for the last number of meetings. Right. And we don't have why it didn't happen. We don't know, but we owe it to not only the citizens but the Century Code in order to make sure that what we enter into isn't a one-sided or puts the citizens at financial peril. Any further discussion? Do we have a second? Yes, Rod. Have, Thank you. Yeah, Rod seconded it. Yeah. Thank you. Um, when do you understand it enough to explain it to Bob, Stephanie? Yeah, I can explain to him. Okay. <clears throat> or any, and anybody else that asks that this is not a this is not an end to it. This is just a pause until we get it straightened out. Okay. Yep. Since the contract's not fully approved, we can't actually add it to our revenue yet because it's not That's correct. full. So in turn, we take the expense out. But then when it's approved, we'll put it back in. 
Very good. Pending approval. Pending approval. Pending approval. Any yeah. further discussion? Jamie, have you seen anything? You said that you had some generic contracts. Yeah, I have a pile from a bunch of others. So have you have you guys got together or tried to score? What? That's my question. Is the school meets on next Tuesday, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. That's what Bob said. Bob yeah. said that they have you talked to the school at all? Tuesday. Yeah, I haven't. Maybe you should I, contact the school and and that's my ask well, to. I don't think I think that's Bob's responsibility. I mean, so I've contacted Bob to work okay. on the contract with them. Okay, but. But you have you have to go. Jamie's got to go through it, look at it. Yeah, I got to look at it. Yeah, but I, I don't think I. Boz, it's Bob's dealing with the school. I don't think it's okay, okay for me so, to deal with the school. But I, I have been. I've attempted. I don't want to throw Bob under the bus, but I don't know, guys, guys, guess I'm kind of put on the spot. I've tried to work on the contract with Bob. Um, yeah, I haven't got any response from him. So I have contracts. Um, generic ones. Well, they're, they're or, ones used from the <coughs> counties around the area. I mean, I don't think it would take that long to put one together. Um, however, I have court tomorrow morning, and we have the Association of the Counties on Monday and Tuesday. So, um, this takes this will take three meetings total, not three of ours, but three meetings total. Yeah. The school school approves it. Or they send it to us. Yep. We look make over. any changes. Look it over. And then send it back to them for final approval. So it isn't it isn't boom boom boom. Yeah. And then and then if there's if there's a sticking point, then there has to be some kind of negotiation on that. And all that has to be done out in the open in a public meeting. It can't be done with Jamie meeting with the school or yeah. anybody else. Nothing happens quickly in this these kind of things. And the same thing will have to happen with the city. Mm. You can imagine the legalities involved in us providing. What are we taking? What, what's our responsibilities? Yeah, correct. What's our liabilities? Would this are, be something we would have like a special meeting for just to get this through and going? Because I think the school wanted to get this going this year. But there's no deputy. There's the there's problem no is there's nobody. There's no one to fill the they've position. They've advertised yet. for the position, so I don't think they have anybody to fill the position yet. Oh. They had some applicants, but a f uh, few of them re or, uh, withdrew their application, I think, this week, Bob said. Yeah, because they, because they didn't to, want to wait. Well, they're going to have to go be a trained law enforcement officer if, if they're going to be shared with Griggs County. So it's, it's not a it's not a undoable thing, but it, it isn't something that, like that, and we've got somebody there. Right. Yeah. Right. And then, of course, we're going to have to further plan for once this takes place, will the other schools within Griggs County also want the same thing? Want the same thing? And that isn't our decision. That's theirs. I mean, that's they, they, they are the independent entity, and they have the right to they have a right to hire whoever they want. Any further discussion? Pending no further discussion, we will vote on the motion at hand. Uh, um, I guess we, this is probably should be a roll call vote. Gabriel? Aye. Trandry? Aye. Zorn? Aye. Edlin? Aye. Wakefield votes aye. Any other budget items that we need to look at here? <laughs> Sam? I don't think so. I'm good. That was pretty much all the look up we ran into. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that will end our discussion on the budget. The we'll, let's see. I got to remember how this goes. Yeah, we'll need a motion to move this budget forward to the to the annual 2024 budget public meeting. I'll make that motion. We have a motion by Zorn to present the budget as amended, amended to the 2024 budget public meeting, which happens at 6 o'clock. Is there a second to that? I'll second it. Second by Avery. All in favor signify by, by, by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. 
Budget is moved forward. Old courthouse, new courthouse. Well, like we said earlier, the gutter got fixed, it looks like. The gutter got fixed, okay. Future business? Wayne, what's, how's our road between Binford and McHenry coming? It's up there. <coughs> So there, I don't know what uh, you want me to do, I guess, about it. Well, I mean, j just, just what, how are we coming on? How is the, en the engineer going to move forward on it? And, and I didn't know if you we want don't know. an engineer to move forward on it, or you have to hire somebody, or a contract, or... Yeah, we, well, we can't move forward until we know what monies are available. Tuesday when we're in Bismarck? That would be better. We're going to see if there's any other grants available. Yeah, we can maybe use on that. Okay. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. What what are what, what are the next steps yes. moving towards? That's what I'm planning on. Okay. On Tuesday at nine forty-five, meet with the DOT. Okay. Paul from KLJ will be there. So we got a new. They sent out a new uh, <coughs> project. Oh, I did bring that. I just okay, no money's there. Up oh, here. Why do you can suffer them easier than nimble fingers? What's this? So there it shows federal aid available 2024. Oh. That's on that chip seal, but yeah. With if that's what you wish, we'll move that back to 2025. Chip seal and coming over the Yeah, we're just talking future business so that can get presented yep. at the next whatever meeting you want to present it at. So future business road department updates, project updates. Anything else? So. Not that I mean we can add anything during the between now and then too, but I just for the group here. I didn't ask it on the agenda, but first Yep, no, that's fine. I'd be here, so. yep. mm. Any other future business items? We put on the church business, cutting on for Bob contract and all that, or, or should we just wait until what Bob says? <laughs> you know, my, 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 my put the, put the contract on the next. I mean, the put contract. The con let's put it on there again, I guess, in case it's there. Both of them, maybe. I'll put policing contract. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Do you want to talk about the um, Wayne's party? Oh. Or is um, there um, yeah, I'll discuss it next time. I haven't got that far yet. You can just get a hold of me and I put it in the agenda. Yeah. You know, okay. Anything else? Anything you forget? It doesn't. It can go on the agenda any time. Yeah. Just. Yeah. I get. I we had. Yeah. I'm working yeah, on that. You're good. Out. Oh, you guys haven't approved that yet. Yeah, come on. Sorry, I thought you did. My bad. What do you think of the contract? The proposal? Um, I the only thing I see in the proposal, let's open it back up again, is we don't have a tax director for them to talk to. Mm -hmm. I don't really 
have any problem with the scope of this uh, contract, but okay. um, I think we better determine who we're going to speak with. It would be nice if Aaron would help out on that. Who? Alan, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> I'll Aaron. Aaron. I got an A name. A name. So let's finish up on this future business yeah. so we don't overlap here. Right. Uh, any uh, other few, so, so far we have the road department project updates and the policing contract. Do you have a motion towards that? Yep, I'll make a motion. Motion to include amongst others on the future business or next agenda road department project updates and have Bob give us a Rundown on where we're at on these policing contracts, both the city and the school. Second to that? Second. Second by Gabriel. Any further discussion on the future business? Barring none, we'll move on to the vote. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Now, back to Crown appraisals. Jamie. Um, looking at it, I don't think I have any problem with contracts. It's just a simple, easy, easy engagement letter other than they need contact information for the Griggs County Tax Director since this appraisal is for assessment purposes. We'd like to review the North Dakota Tax Department guidelines with your tax director. I mean, it's a tough because we don't have a tax director. Yeah, well, so, so make it, I would say we make it to the auditor for the county commissions. Discussion. Are you okay with that, Ms. Audubon? I don't know if I'll be able to help them, but. No, she's just going to forward it to us. Yeah. Oh. Okay. The information goes to her instead of the tax director. Yeah. Oh, okay. And, and we will, then we will, because the tax director works at the. Oh, okay. That's the discretion. Right. And Very you good. probably need to send it to me because it looks yeah. like I'm going to have to make some legal analysis. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So we've got the signed contract here. Um, Do you want to just make that uh, like a thing in there, and then we can sign it, since they want that signed. Do you know what I mean? So that we don't have to send it back, like make this change and then send it back and then have you sign it? Or do you want me to do that? Or do you want to just cross it off and then write it and then you can sign it and then I can I send it? cross it off and just put auditor instead of tax director. Yeah. Yeah. Send that, it to the that's auditor. What, that's what I was going to do. And, yeah. But I was going to get approval auditor first and let you, then you, you write it because my writing is terrible. Should we put auditor and state's attorney? Uh, put both on there since James. Yeah. Yeah. Put state's attorney, yeah. county commission okay. in care of the auditor. Okay. Right? Because we don't have an address or send it to the county just commission. Say auditor and yeah. It'll get to us. Confusing. Okay. So I've got the approval here, and we're going to make the change to send the any questions to or reports to send to the auditor. Um, Jamie said it's a straight up contract, so I don't see any problem with signing it as long as the rest of the board is okay with uh, that. Yeah, we'll, we'll need a motion. Are you going to make a motion to have you sign it then? Yeah, we'll need a motion. Well, not just a motion to approve the okay. contract as presented with the changes. Changes of, I'll make that motion to to uh, go forward with the contract with the, dish, with the changes of putting, the, instead of having a tax director, put auditor or state's attorney on instead of the tax director. Very good. We have a motion by Tranby. Is there a second to that motion? I'll second that. Second by Avril. Any dis further discussion? Maureen, no further discussion. We'll move on to the vote. All in favor, signify it by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Crown appraisals approved. And I'll sign it. I'll, I'll call Chelsea tomorrow. Then. You know. I told her to get in contact with you or I tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. I'll call her. Thank you. Thank you. See you, See ya. See you later.
Well, I wish I could tell you we'd move right into the tax meeting, but, but we can't. No. <laughs> so we'll need a motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion, of course. Motion by Tran I just about said something. But right. No, it's like it's got to be Scott. Is there a second? I can second that. Second by every all in favor. Signify by, by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Meeting adjourned at 5.25, the 5th of October. Next meeting, this room, 6 p.m., October 5th. And the meeting after that, the next scheduled meeting, regular meeting, will be Thursday, October 19th at 2.30 p.m. in this room.